Hello friends, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I will be discussing the heat zones with you. The tropic zone which is also known as the torrid zone. Then the temperate zone and then the polar zone friends. This is also known as the frigid zone. So you can see it before. You know, uh, watching this video, friends, you should know about some important latitudes. That is the equator, which is zero degree latitude. Then coming on to Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Cancer is 23 and a half degree north. Tropic of Capricorn is 23 and a half degree south. Similarly, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle, 66 and a half degree north and south, respectively. They are the latitudes. Now, according to these latitudes, lump sum, the zones are being created. First, I'm going to talk about the storage zone and then present so this is presented by me friends if you want to follow me the link of my instagram profile is given in the description box below also friends if you want to watch the hindi version of the video its link is also given in the description box below so moving forward friends first of all torrid zone now what is basically torrid zone this is also known as the tropical zone obviously in between the tropics the region coming in between the tropics will be the torrid zone so it is the region between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn and the very important thing about this region is that it receives the direct sunlight of the sun for almost the complete year and that is why this receives the maximum heat and if it is going to receive the maximum heat obviously the temperatures will be high so let's come on to this friends this is tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn and the whole area in between is termed as torrid zone or tropical zone now what happens friends that you uh, when i will tell you about the solstice and the equinox videos you will see that the moment of the sun is almost between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn okay slowly in summers in the northern hemisphere it goes up to the tropic of cancer and then during the winters it goes up to the tropic of capricorn so the apparent movement of sun is between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn so this area between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn for the complete year receives direct sunlight rays <laughs> receives direct rays of the sun so when it is going to receive the direct rays of the sun obviously it is going to be warm friends okay so now if it is going to be warm friends okay so the temperatures will be extreme now one thing you need to know friends <laughs> that all equatorial areas are always hot this is also not important because actually the local temperature depends upon a lot of geographical factors also for example the flow of the wind the oceanic uh, you know the oceanic configuration of the area so the presence of mountains so a lot of things depend upon the local factors also but yes when we talk about the sunrise leaving apart the local factors when we talk about the incident sun rays so the incident sun rays are the highest in this torrid zone or you should say as tropical zone and that is why their temperatures here are a little bit more extreme friends so this is about the torrid zone friends moving forward we will talk about the temperate zone so this temperate zone friends this temperate zone is that zone which lies between the tropic of cancer and arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and between the Tropic of Capricorn and Arct Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. So, Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, it is important, friends, because here, in this area, the sun is not exactly above these latitudes. So, the rays of the sun will not reach directly. They will reach at an angle in a slanting manner. And when they will reach in a slanting manner, the amount of heat given to these areas will also be less. So, that is why these areas will have moderate temperatures. Let us have a look at the diagram. This is Arctic Circle and this is Tropic of Cancer. So, in between is the temperate area. Okay. Similarly, this is Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. So, in between is the temperate area so in these areas friend you will see that obviously the sunlight is not directly above these areas now if the sunlight is not directly above these areas obviously the sunlight is, uh, is going to hit these areas in a slanting manner at an angle and when they are going to hit it in a slanting manner at an angle obviously the temperatures will be moderate not very extreme now these areas the temperate areas friends are very much uh, you can say habitable they uh, can ha have a host of good situations for example the temperature is moderate okay so because of the moderate temperature human life thrives well in this area animal life thrives well in this area so that is these variants are also good for vegetation however vegetation is also done in the you know torrid area but yes here 
the vegetation is also very good friends and the health it is said that the people of these areas are also very healthy so this is the temperature because the presence of the sun rays in this area is not very much high and it is also not very much less because when we will go to poles you will see that the sunrise leading the poles are very less so obviously they will be cold but that is not the case with moderate in moderate area sunrise is reaching not very much not very low so they have a moderate temperature and they are good for a lot of reasons vegetation animal husbandry and also human habitation moving forward for the polar zone friends polar zone is basically also known as the frigid zone lies between antarctic arctic circle and the north pole <coughs> and antarctic circle in the south pole known as polar zone because it receives extreme slanting of the rays of sun and temperature is extremely low and that is why they are almost covered with ice seeing it friends you can see it here between the arctic circle and the north pole and the antarctic circle and the south pole this is the north pole and this is the south pole okay friends so in these areas obviously the sun rays will reach after a very big amount of time so if the sun rays will reach after big amount of time and that is also not a big amount of time exactly you should say big amount of time with respect to the torrid and temperate zone and extreme slanting of rays will <laughs> rays will be there and the rays will be reaching in less quantity so that is why heat will be reaching in less quantity these areas will naturally becoming <coughs> become cold also you will come to know that friends one pole at a time remains dark for at least 6 months and at the same time the other pole is in complete you know uh, light and uh, the thing reverses after 6 months for 6 months for the next 6 months the other pole becomes dark and then uh, remaining pole becomes full of light this i will be discussing with you in the equinoxes and solstices video friends now if you are going to have a look at the world map friends see this is the world map now if we draw the equator a lump sum equator here so this becomes a lump sum equator now when this lump sum equator is drawn friends you will see that if i plot uh, an approximate tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so you will see these areas will become torrid areas tropical areas so <coughs> according to the logic they should receive a lot of sunlight and they receive a lot of sunlight that is why you can see that this north african countries this arabian peninsula initial part if this pakistan so these becomes very hot similarly this australian part this also becomes a bit hot but it is not actually true for all the countries that is all those countries which are coming in the torrid zone it is not necessary that they are extremely hot the reason being that a lot of things depends upon the local climatological factors also for example friends if you look at india see india now here in india you will can see that uh, this um, monsoon winds will come from this side and give rainfall to the whole indian peninsula so <clears throat> the point is that local factors will also play a big role and this local factors are oceanic configuration also the presence of mountains wind configuration westerlies configuration how the trade winds are flowing so lot of things will decide the local temperature with respect to sun i will told only one thing that the rays of the sun will be directly very high in the torrid zone and that is the reason friends that at the very equatorial areas you know there is a lot of rainfall so they are always covered with clouds so because of those clouds the amount of sunlight reaching that mainly the equatorial areas become very less but that doesn't means that they are not hot so a lot of things will depend here friends so just keep one thing in mind that the torrid zone and tropical zone is getting the highest amount of sunlight so just by the logic of sun they are getting the highest amount of heat however their temperature will vary according to the prevailing local climatological conditions which i will be discussing in further videos so i hope this video was really helpful for you friends okay this usa you will see the eastern coast it is near to the oceanic configuration so obviously not very hot similarly this north eastern coast of brazil also but in africa you will see this is the mediterranean sea so below this african countries they are very very hot not very much close to the sea also the wind circulation is not very much con you know <coughs> uh, they are not very much convenient for them also this eastern coast of china this is also not very hot despite coming slightly in the area of torrid zones so lot of things still needs to be discussed friends in order to understand the local climatological conditions however i hope that this heat zones are clear to you so i hope this video was helpful for you friends if it was really helpful friends kindly 
you know like this video subscribe to my channel kindly comment and please share these videos to your friends friends and also if you have any doubt then you can ask me through the comment section below so thank you for watching this video have a great day friends goodbye